Cells are the building blocks of the human body. They provide structure for the body and contain important molecules that keep the body alive. A person's genetic information is housed in its nucleus in the form of DNA. When certain parts of the DNA are active or inactive, the cell becomes specialized for certain functions, such as working for digestion in the stomach, or working for respiration in the lungs. Let's zoom into the nucleus to better understand how DNA works. DNA is made up of four bases called G, C, T, and A. The order of these bases form instructions for how cells should operate. DNA is a two-stranded molecule in the form of a double helix. Sections of DNA are called genes. Some genes code for physical characteristics such as hair color, eye color, or height. Genes contain the information needed for making proteins, which are required for the structure, function, and regulation of tissues and organs. There are also non-coding genes that control gene activity, enhancers enhance a gene's function, and silencers repress it. Genes are passed down from parents to their children. Each person has two copies, one coming from each parent. Different forms of the same gene are called alleles. For example, blue and green eye color are alleles of the eye color gene. One or both of the alleles that you inherit could be dominant or recessive. For the characteristic of a dominant allele to be expressed, you only need one allele to be dominant. For the characteristic of a recessive allele to be expressed, you need both the alleles to be recessive. DNA is tightly wound up into structures called chromosomes. Each person has 23 pairs of chromosomes. Half of your chromosomes come from your mom, and the other half come from your dad. Sometimes, during the creation of DNA, mistakes can be made. These are called mutations. An example of a mutation is an incorrect base pairing. Mutations like this can prevent proteins from working properly. This can cause cells or organs to lose their function, which can lead to a disease. Genetic disorders arise when a gene associated with a certain disease has been mutated. To be affected by an autosomal dominant condition, individuals only need one copy of the gene to be mutated. For autosomal recessive conditions, individuals need both copies of the gene to be mutated. One copy must be inherited from each parent. A carrier is someone with only one copy of a mutated recessive gene. If two carriers procreate, they are at risk of passing down both mutations to their offspring. An X-linked disorder is associated with a gene on the X chromosome. These disorders are often suppressed in females because they have two X chromosomes and one can compensate for a mutated one. Males only have one X chromosome, so they have no such backup and are more frequently affected by X-linked disorders. About one in four Ashkenazi Jewish people are a carrier for one of 75 Jewish genetic disorders. Jewish people historically tended to marry within their faith community. 
has led to a relatively high frequency of certain disease-causing genes within the population. This was due to genes not being able to enter or leave the community. Another cause is the founder's effect. It is believed that most of today's Ashkenazi Jewish population descended from a group of only a few thousand founders that immigrated to Eastern Europe during the diaspora. Since this was such a small group, their gene pool became selectively different from the one they had immigrated from. A larger proportion of the founders likely had certain mutations which made genetic diseases become more prevalent within future populations. A healthy cell has a controlled life cycle that goes through phases of growth, work, division, and death. As a result of genetic mutation, cancerous cells lack functioning mechanisms that control its growth and division. Without control, healthy cells can grow and divide without stopping, which leads to cancer. Cancer cells often form solid growths called tumors. Benign tumors are those that can grow in one spot but will not spread. Malignant tumors are those that spread and invade other tissues in the body. It is believed that it takes multiple genetic mutations for cancer to occur. These mutations can arise every day due to random mistakes in DNA replication. Aging increases one's risk for cancer due to the buildup of random mutations over time. Exposure to environmental factors such as chemicals or radiation can also lead to acquired mutations over time. Hereditary cancers develop from the inheritance of mutated genes at birth. This increases the probability of cancer earlier on in life since these cells are already at a disadvantage. BRCA1 and BRCA2 are human genes that produce tumor suppressor proteins. These proteins help repair damaged DNA and prevent uncontrollable growth. BRCA mutations are inherited and are linked to an increased risk of several cancers, such as breast cancer. When these genes are mutated, DNA damage may not be repaired, and as a result, cells will be more likely to become cancerous. BRCA mutations occur in the Ashkenazi Jewish population at rates more than 10 times higher than in the general population.